My internet is slow. Well, what, what's your network look like? Exactly. <laughs>So let's imagine a water pipe system and you've got big water mains. They're like meters feet in diameter. Yeah. Or you've got like little feeder pipes. And the idea when you do a distribution system is it gets smaller and smaller towards the edges. Yeah. So you're only going to get on the internet when you're communicating with another server on the other side, like you want to download that movie file or stream that Netflix or whatever, yeah. it's only going to be as fast as the smallest the connection, slowest connection in, in the, the entire chain. chain. Yeah. Which a lot of people don't realize it's their own home networks. <laughs> Absolutely true. Yes. I, you know, I, we went to fiber at our, at our house back, That's awesome. back in the spring last year. And, you know, me being me, I'm the one who's got a direct line wired in the wall to the server rack in my basement, which is where all my network gear is. So I got sat down at my desk and boop, 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 and I get a gigabit at my desk. I was like, yes. And then my wife goes, oh, we got fiber. And she goes, everything's the same. Yep. And I said, what do you mean it's the same? It's the, it's slow. Yep. I said, it's not slow. Here's the proof. And then I realized she's on Wi-Fi in the house. So no matter what you do to the big pipe coming in, it's always that smallest connection. And Wi-Fi is a big part of that now. Wi-Fi is actually notorious. And I think people were running into that when they were got into Zoom. Yeah. Because they realized they were trying to do Zoom over the Wi-Fi connections. Wi-Fi slices up the bandwidth, the, the amount of pipe yeah. connection with every device that's communicating yes. on the airwaves at that time. Yeah. So if you've got, you know, a very healthy Wi-Fi system in your house, that does 50, what is it, 52 to 54 megabit? Actually, they're 150, 300. They're in the good ones. They're in the good ones. Most people the, don't have Most those. people have sub but, 100. But so you have sub 100. Yep. And you've got a mobile phone and a tablet and a Roku and a desktop and a laptop. And somebody's streaming and Netflix And somebody's streaming right Netflix in the <laughs> other room. You're going to get four or five megabits of data transfer. Oh, yeah. And Zoom will chew that up like nothing. And that's why Greg said he had a wired connection into the wall from his computer. Right. <laughs> Everybody assumed getting Wi-Fi was better than having a wire that you connected. Not, not true. Wires Flexibility, are yes, but wired is still yeah. always king. Yeah, but you, there are lots of ways to improve that and you can talk to your network providers or, you know, a reputable dealer of equipment like a Memory Express or somebody like that and say, hey, I've got, you know, this type of internet coming into my house, what do I need to do to get the best Wi-Fi performance in my house? They can come up with solutions yep. like that. So now but, when it comes to internet connections, a lot of people are still on the same plans. They haven't upgraded it. I'm gonna end this one with a tip. The tip is when you call your internet provider, whether it's a, a cable modem, a fiber connection, a DSL, whatever it might be, the tip is to ask to speak to their loyalty department. That is true because they will want to retain your business, but the first agent, the customer service agent yep. you talk to off the bat, they can't offer you the same deals as the loyalty department. So that's how I wanna end this guy. Get yourself a better internet connection, faster, for cheaper than you're paying right now, by calling and talking to them and saying that you've been exploring your options and you're not happy. True story. It's true. Yeah. If you like the tip, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Join us next time for, uh, for more tech tips that'll yep. be of use to you in your business life.